We are jumping straight into this first game. This is the CSN, the Cyber Sports Network, and uh, I am Gwen, and with me, of course, is Rundown Rants. Uh, we're going to be jumping straight into this. This is going to be a Zerg versus Zerg um, between Evil Genius's Machine, of course, one of the well-known players from EG, and um, uh, NRG's Ostagy? Uh, Ostagy! Ostagy. Anyone right. in chat want to want to uh, advise on what we call this cat? You that, just let uh, us know. I, I think I think we're just going to go with Ostagy unless we have a better suggestion. So that's going to be Energy Ostagy versus Evil Geniuses Machine, and uh, we're just waiting for everyone to load on into this game. We're going to go ahead and get started. The map is going to be our favorite MLG Taldrum Altar, huge, giant, mega, massive, hugely huge map. Oh. And we're already off to a wonderful start here so tonight. So we had a little bit of a 1A, 2A, 3A I saw there. So uh, some players spamming that APM. And um, it looks like we have uh, uh, Gosu. Gosu Ostagy. Okay, so uh, FXO T-Gun, of course, uh, correct, uh, correcting us a little bit there. And uh, a little bit of a Gigio. <laughs> from uh, and the, and the the good luck the have fun oh I see what that was that was a, a good luck GG yo right come on man you got to get with the times here yo that's what I'm talking about hey shout outs to SE2 Bright in chat he's actually going to give us the best suggestion for how to pronounce this name here and it's actually Otoji he says Otoji. call him Otoji so we're that's what we're gonna call him we're gonna call him Otoji it's like a silent S apparently I, I, apparently okay. So, uh, Laughs, of course, lagging up that game, decides to leave. Laughs, you should definitely tune in to the stream and uh, just check out the game there. Uh, Overlord's making their way actually in uh, in the correct direction. So, uh, players are going to find each other pretty soon on this map. And uh, so far, we haven't seen any crazy shenanigans out of either player. You know, there really hasn't been a chance for it, though. It's been a minute 30 in, nobody's even scouting yet. Uh, with this map here, I mean, how often in a ZVZ is this hatch first for you? You know, I, I, I think playing on on ladder, um, hatch first is something I, I try and stay away from. Um, it's, uh, it's really easy and really tempting to get greedy in this matchup, go for that early hatch, and then just get punished for it by a really, really aggressive surf. Looks like Machine actually going for the 14-14, very standard opening here, 14 gas and then the 14 pool, but oh, look at this, Ostagy going for that hatch first. We'll have to see how long he delays that pool though, pool though. up to uh, actually 16 food now, finally adding on that gas going back up to 16 food with another drone so that looks like that'll mm. be a uh, 15 16 16 so a very economical opening <clears throat> all right checking it out here about halfway done with the expansion here on the outside spawning pool finally going down in uh, uh, OCG's base here I can't wait to see what kind of shenanigans are going to come out on on this side over here, though. I think Machine has got some some good surprises for us. I certainly hope so. I mean, he really needs to punish this hatch first play out of Osuji if he wants to maintain an equal footing in this game. Scouting Overlord making its way close to the front side here of Machine's base. And right here, I actually see six lings in production, which is actually a deviation from the standard four. So I'm assuming he saw that hatch first and decided, you know what, I really need to put some pressure on my opponent, and it's just going to go ahead and go for it. But look at this, the pool finishing up for Ostagy. He's probably played on this map, knows the timings, and knows, hey, if I get that pool up, I can actually outproduce my opponent on lings because I'm on two base. All right, here they come. Six lings on their way over. Oh, oh And let's another see. six... Uh -huh. Another four in production, four machine as well as the hatch, and uh, six on the way for OCG as well as the spine. And this mm. is going to come down to some pretty good micro between these two players. Yeah, this is where it gets rough here in ZVZ as it all the time comes down to who's got one more Zergling than the other guy. You can see even money with the Zerglings out front here though, they're going to duel to the death. While this spine crawler is trying to go up, is it going to make it up? Look at this harass. <laughs> I think that spine crawler will make it up successfully. And look at this machine going for the Banely nest, saying, "You know what? I am not satisfied just being aggressive with those zerglings. I am going to blow everything up." And of course, Banely's one of my favorite units in the game, so I uh, I have nothing but high hopes for machine in this play. Just for just in time for the speed to hit, zerglings enter the expansion here, and they're getting some nice harass off on this hatchery on the outside here. You can Absolutely. see more of these zerglings headed up to. Uh, to rally in here, and we'll see how many uh, Banelings. Oh, it looks like only two initially on the way. Uh, machine 
looks like he's uh, expended a lot of minerals and gas getting those zerglings out. He is ahead in the supply count right now, and I just want to, like, point out something here. Osteji went for that early hatch and has not been able to use it at all. He has been uh, unable to mine from the hatch, and hope Banley is coming in now. Need to be careful of that spine crawler taking that giraffe neck and just poking it there. But uh, speed has finished for both players, so it's just going to come down to that great micro. But look at this Osteji morphing in a Banley of his own. Knows that Banley's and Roaches are really the only way to stop this style of play and uh, opting for the Banley. All right, supplies just a little bit off here. We can see 27 drones on the uh, board right now for Machine to the 23 drones of Osteji. So despite getting that hatch first, Osteji actually behind in the economy because of that early pressure the Machine was able to put on. Hmm, dropping back a little bit, busting that scouting Zergling there, but you can see forces now starting to push forward from Osteji. Certainly, I mean, those uh, those Banelings, though, from Machine morphing in at the front, looks like he's going to be able to take two of those Banelings out just with that one spine crawler. a great play out of Machine, using that to target fire those Banelings, and Osteji looks like he's going to be forced to pull back. There's a lot of scouting going on here with these overlords out front, giving both players a good idea of what's in play. It's going to be real tough to keep up with the amount of units that are on the field at this point, though. You can see a lot of play happening in the middle of the field as well. And look at this, Machine using two Zerglings, of course, to kill one Baneling, a great trade, because the Baneling costs gas and the Zerglings do not. Uh, we'll have to see what goes on. Look at this, Machine clearing out, saying, you know what, I was forced to make Zerglings in the early game. I'm going to use those for another purpose, and that is killing those destructible rocks so that I can take a faster third. OCG doing the exact same thing on his end. Both these players playing a very similar style here, Rance. Yeah, I like the high economy bailing aggression here coming out from both players. I'll be curious to see what the next tech, pa tech path is going to be. Uh, one player unable to assert himself higher than the other player at this point in the match up here. So each player is going to have to go to the third and uh, see what kind of curveballs they can throw out next. Absolutely. It looks like a uh, layer on the way for both players. A little bit ahead for Machine taking his other two gases. And you know, one of the interesting things in this matchup rants that I've seen a lot of is Zerg players going Mutalisk. I think it actually started with Nest T in some GSL games, but uh, the Mutalisk has come back into the matchup as a viable way to take that map control. And if we just take a moment and look at the Overlord spread for both players, we've got Overlords all over the map. Those are easy targets for those Mutalisks. Mm-hmm. Low-hanging fruit, as they say. We've got some nice protective Banelings in here against any kind of Zergling attack that might come randomly. Oh, and uh, and look at this. It looks like we do have the um, the Spire on the way for both players, so it will be Muta versus Muta in this matchup. Um, that Mutaling, Baneling style and getting a lot of good flanks on your opponent has uh, become really strong in ZVZ as well, and we haven't really seen some exceptional Infestor play to counter it yet. So, uh, But it looks like this is the, the commit from both players, so we will have to see who can get that Mutalisk count up and who can get those favorable Mutalisk, uh, you know, exchanges to win those battles. Give me your take on the timing of the third in this situation here, Gwen. I can see Machine actually has a faster third. How's this going to come into play later on with the Mutas? Well, see, the, the thing with the third on this map is that if you're using your Mutalist to defend as well as some, some basic static defense, and look at that Machine with a great scout, sees that Spire go down and even has the little changeling in the corner, um, scouting exactly when that goes down. But what I was saying about the third you know, if you, oh, it looks like we have a little bit of engagement at the third down there. Um, some Banelings coming in, cleaning that up for Machine. The third does get up. So with the third in this base, if you're using some static defense, some Spore Crawlers, a Queen or two, at your base plus your Mutalist, you can actually bounce between all three bases very quickly on this map. They're very compact. And you can just kind of keep your Mutalists in the middle when you're not using them to harass. Um, and so it'll be interesting to see what Machine decides to do, but hold on, it looks like we're going to see a little bit of pressure here out of Osterjoy. Does not want to let that third get up uncontested. Will be able to get a queen here if those Mulas do not pick it up for Machine. And it looks like both players going for Muta, and if we go back to that production tab, plus one armor on the way for Machine, and this is actually the absolute best move he could make in this situation. Getting that armor upgrade for your Mutalist means that your opponent's Mutalist get one less bounce on the Glaive attack, and it makes your Mutalist way, way more effective. So I'm 
happy to see that uh, he is going for that, but a little bit concerned that his mutilus count is already four behind his opponent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just going to bring that one up there. I see it's uh, 12 to 8 out here with the muta count. And uh, when you can't win that muta count there, it's actually probably just not even worth it to go after him here. So, you know, what would you do as a player then when you, really, when you come upon the realization that you're behind in this count? Well, I mean, really what you have to do is you kind of have to try and force his mutilus into an unfavorable engagement. So um, what that would mean would be to do something like make sure there's some spores at your third, bait his mutilus into your third, get some free damage off with those spores, and then engage. All right, let's take a look at the production tab here. We've got some nice upgrades coming up oh, here. Oh, and the plus one out of Ostajoy. Of course, unfortunately, the plus one is actually not going to negate the plus one armor out of machine. Mm. It's interesting to note that the way the bounce is calculated, that plus one actually does not help really at all. Woo, look at this. Macro hatch coming out here on machine side. Could actually be a pretty effective block for these Zerg units that are coming out, but look at this huge flock of mutilists coming out here. And this is the kind of engagement that he needs to kind of get. He does not have any spore crawlers here, so he is going to lose some mutilists, uh, but machine needs to be careful and uh, really needs to force, again, Osterjoy's Mulus into an unfavorable engagement. He tried there, didn't quite have spores in the right position, and, uh, ooh, look at this. We have a little bit of a counterattack on the third, and this is a great play out of Machine. Probably going to morph those Banes. into Banelings True. and just waltz them into that mineral line. True. Let's keep our eye on these Mutas here. I really like their positioning, and I can't believe they're not already in doing more ooh. and more damage. Look Machine at all these Mutalists going losing down. Losing some Mutalists for, uh, for free, a little bit of miscontrol out of him, and that is exactly what we don't want to have happen in this Mutaverse Muta conflict. Supply starting to get a little bit lopsided here. 132 for Ostagi and 115 for Machine here as we see the battle taking place now on two fronts. Thinking about hitting that third, but mainly hitting a main. And look at all those overlords just right for the pick in Gwyn. Absolutely. I mean, those overlords could go down so easily. Those mutilists can do so much damage. And look at that, taking out a whole ton of Zerglings. Wow, that was painful. With those Banelings. That was painful, brother. All right, let's check out the unit tab here for a second. 21 Mutalists for Ostagy right now. So just the 10 of Machine. And so at this point, I think that Machine has effectively lost this Mutalist war. I mean, look at Ostagy. He's up at 1,500 gas, could produce 15 more. And look at this. Machine knows this, has created some Infestors, put some Infestors onto the field. And I, I think that that is definitely the right move. Does he have the pathogen, pathogen Gland upgrade? They just popped and they've got 75 energy, so I'm going to go with yes on that one. And uh, he should be able to then uh, transition back into more of a standard roach play. But look at this. Machine being so responsible with scouting. Finds this fourth going down. Will he be able to force the cancel before the Mutalists get there, though? Yes, he will. Mutalists join the party here and are going to be able to quell that threat, but not before the damage was done, folks. You can see the fourth also planned on by Machine. He's going to be able to possibly take care of these Zerglings and drop the fourth, but I think it was actually in sight there. Hold on. We do see a, a big move out from Machine. It looks like he got comfortable once he's got those Infestors out. Wants to catch those Mutalists in a vulnerable position. Hit them all with a juicy Fungal Growth. But uh, Ostajoy looks like he has started to add on some Hydralisks, which uh, I'm not sure how much I agree with that choice in this matchup. Hmm. Zergling's kind of with a half-hearted attempt to come into the third base here. Let's go ahead and check in on some other positions here. Lots of infestors. Oh, we got four infestors out and uh, approaching enough energy for two fungals, so that's mm -hmm. that's quite a potent force to deal with. Uh, of course, Mutalists do not outrange fungal growth. Mutalists with a range of three, um, but ostjoy has got quite a substantial other ground force as well. Switching gears into macro mode with two additional hatches coming up as well as moving the main and army a now. Huge supply block for Machine with those overlords being killed. Machine is going to have to be very careful. All he really has is those infestors and those mutalisks and zerglings. And oh, a huge fungal growth goes down on everything. Oh, and he doesn't get the second fungal out. That's a huge misstep on Machine's part. All right, here comes a battle here. Is the, as, oh my gosh, look at that fungal going off there on the Hydras. And the Hydras not too hurting, though. I thought it would do more damage. Wow, lots of fungals going off on the Mutas as well. But look at this huge giant force here coming out from Ostagy. He's going to be able to take care of the main defense out front. Wow, I can't believe he's not taking out any of these overlords here on the way in. But still, the damage is being done. Look at this. This was 
very one-sided in that uh, that battle because Machine really only had Zerglings and a few Mutalists and those Infestors. And if we look at the mineral count for Machine, I wish he had invested in something like some Roaches to burn off that mineral count. Looks like he's, uh, if we go to the production tab real quick, it looks like he's creating nine more Infestors and a ro but more Roaches streaming in for Osagery and just Zerglings for Machine. I'm not sure I agree with this choice at all. Yeah, I don't think this is going to end very well here, and we probably will see the end of this round here pretty shortly as this force is going to be able to come in and do lots of damage. Still tons of Lings on the field here. One sort of okay fungal goes down there, but you can see Red still in the base doing tons of damage as well as hitting multiple other bases around the map here. I mean, the, the third, you know, being threatened there, it looks like a lot more Roaches streaming into the main for Osajoy, and uh, I think this spells the end for Machine and the GG out of Machine. Machine leading the game, so we're going to go into game two of Gosu Osajoy versus Evil Genius's Machine uh, right after this quick break.